I wouldn't necessarily say it went wrong for us. I think, you know, Argentina are a great outfit and I don't think people saw really in their group games what, what they are capable of doing. Um, you know, I think that nil in against England probably made people believe they, they weren't the side they actually are. And I think, you know, we've seen from Argentina in the past, we know how good of a, a team they are. Um, they go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with the best of teams. They've beaten New Zealand in, in the past couple of years. You know, they know poor team that I think uh, you know everyone came in maybe thinking um, look we're, we're bitterly disappointed to be going home at this point uh, you know four months of work um, you know and more has gone into to building towards this uh, but I think you know take nothing away from the performance Argentina put in they scored points at pivotal moments of the game um, you know they stuck with their emotional side of, of things they do and I think, you know, I was probably got the best of us allowing them back into the game the last five minutes of that first half. You know, a couple of a couple of mistakes, maybe that edge just a bit too far over one side, and you know, allows them to get a foothold back in the game. And a, a team as emotionally driven as Argentina, once they get that sniff, you know, they're going to stick with you. But um, you know, it's been a hell of a journey, a hell of a ride, and uh, you know, this group will learn from that. Uh, you know, people say you really learn things from winning all the time. You know, so. Losing games, I guess, is important in, in terms of uh, you know development and getting better. And for young players like us, we've got in this squad, you know, it, it'll make us stronger for next time. Yeah, I think you know, obviously, in terms of inside of the camp, we're feeling great. A lot of people wrote us off before the tournament began. You know, uh, people saying we wouldn't get out the group. We went fourth and four. Uh, you know, and then it turns into ah, oh, you've got the easiest run. Um, so I think in, in terms of you know, confidence from inside our camp and obviously with people back home, um, the sport has been amazing and, and we're confident that we can kick on and, and learn a lot from, from this campaign. And uh, you know, to fans back home, we apologise that you know, it's the end of the road, but stick with us because there's a lot to come from this group. You know, everything we do is, is geared towards you know, our families, the people who support us and, and the fans who allow us to play the game we love um, as a job and, you know, the support that we've had from them um, from back home, you know, people making the trips out. It, it's been unbelievable. We've seen, uh, you know, flash mobs of people singing Welsh folk songs in all the cities we've played in and I just hope that they've enjoyed the journey as much as we have and, um, you know, that they've enjoyed their time at a World Cup because... You know, they don't, they don't come around very often, especially in a, a place where rugby is growing as much as it is in France and it's booming. Um, you know, but yeah, they've been excellent and we only ask that they, they stick with us through the next next period of, of Welsh rugby in this group. Uh, he, he just had some word for us, you know. Um, brought his song along, uh, his first game. So uh, yeah, that was, that was nice to, to speak to him. And you know, you, you kind of, it puts things into perspective that you know, everyone wanted us to succeed, but sometimes that's not the case. And I think, you know, you find that in all walks of life, not just in sport. Um, but, you know, we left it all out there and, and we tried our best and that's all we could do. And, you know, he said that to us. And, you know, I think it resonates as well from uh, someone such as himself. Uh, but, yeah, it was awesome to have an interchange with us post-game, yeah.